Before the opening bell, U.S. futures, they happen to be consolidating after closing on record highs on Friday. U.S. indices closed higher to end the week, lifted by shares in the combination of consumer durables and apparel, as well as retailing and health care equipment and services sectors. This all has 73% of S&P 500 constituents managed to trade higher on Friday. Now, after the markets close, we take a look at the headlines, and first we have Microsoft. Microsoft is in advanced discussions to acquire artificial intelligence company Nuance Communications for roughly $16 billion, this according to reports from Bloomberg News. Moving on, also in the headlines, we have Uber Technologies, which is gaining ground pre-market as gross bookings reached its highest monthly level during the month of March. Now, taking a look at today's market action, there's no major earnings expected, but on the economic docket after the opening bell, 11 o'clock in the morning, we have U.S. consumer inflation figures. In the afternoon, we have the release of the monthly budget statement, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Taking a look now at the markets, the S&P 500, that's where we begin. That sees a bullish bias above 4,088, and that's what's in focus. The relative strength index is mixed with a bullish bias. Long positions above 4,088 are favored with targets at 4,120 and 4,140 in extension. The Nasdaq, meanwhile, that happens to see further advance. This is while the Dow Jones sees the bias remain bullish.